It is getting to be that time again where we're going to be grilling a lot. We're making ribs in the News 9 kitchen today with Peter Telge from Millie's Tavern. And these are your famous ribs, famous right? Famous and award winning, yes. They've won many awards. We just won Best Ribs in Manchester. That's great. So, first you start off with a rub, is that right? Start off with a rub. Um, I think it's the most important thing. I use brown sugar, I use dark brown sugar. I use, um, and it's hard to find these days, but emerald essence, which is a great all together spice. Mm -hmm. Put a lot of that in. I use a bold and smoky chipotle, which gives it some uh, little kick. A barbecue spice. You're going to laugh at all the spices I do, but I mix these all together. I also use a mesquite spice, a brown sugar and bourbon spice, and an applewood spice. My goodness. And then, one of the other keys, I use marinades. There's three marinades, a mesquite marinade, a Tennessee smokehouse barbecue marinade. So this really tenderizes the meat, huh? And a brown sugar and bourbon marinade. My goodness. There's and a what lot I, of flavor going on. It's a ton of flavor, and it's great, because <laughs> what I do is mix that all together really well, and I rub the ribs, and I, you really rub the ribs, so you put it on, like layer it on, pat it on with your hand, so it all stands on. Put it in tin foil, and then you leave it in the fridge at least 24 hours, maybe even 48 hours. Really? All that rub and spices soak in the rib. And then what I do is I actually cook it in the tin foil for about an hour to an hour and a half mm -hmm. uh, at a low temperature, about 180 degrees. And that rub and everything cooks in. Then I take it out of the package. And then what I do is I make a sauce, a barbecue sauce. I use sweet barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I use a tangy barbecue sauce, what's called tangy gold, which is, um, it has almost like a little bit of buffalo kind of spice in it. It's, I use a smoky barbecue sauce, so I use three barbecue sauces. Then, this is the key to, in my opinion, fresh garlic, ground garlic. Mix a whole bunch of that in there. And I also use Montreal steak seasoning. So I put Montreal steak seasoning right in the sauce. And then the last one, just to kick it up, I either use a habanero, if you don't have habanero, Tabasco sauce or some spicy, one of those really hot things. Mm -hmm. Just a touch, just a little bit, just to kick it up. Now, what you do is after you, you've taken it out of the foil, I put it on red oak for about four or five or six hours, and I smoke it, and I'll apply this very generously over and over and over again, probably about five or six times. Wow. With all those spices and all those rubs, they're just, that's why they've won the best ribs. That's, uh, that is a lot going on, but I, I mean, obviously, really flavorful. That's it's for awesome. sure. <laughs> People love them. They always say they're the best ribs around, and they, right. I think they are. Well, Peter, thanks for sharing the recipe. We appreciate it. Okay, just to mention, Stark Brewing Company is now distributing our own beer out from Millie's. That's great. Good luck with the new venture. Thank you. All right, we'll be back.